Sheila de Tanserville. I'd sensed from the start that some dark mystery lay behind that cold countenance. Following the demise of the council and conclave, there was no one left to keep the mages in line. But regicide? Why? What was this all about? It seemed these questions would be answered at Loch Nguyen, an ancient city amidst mountains, the remnants of the civilization of the Vrans, whose dusk had come long ago. And you would be right to ask, why did you not set out for Loch Nguyen, Master Dandelion? Vergen was free, yet what is freedom without its awareness? It might too easily pass from hand to hand were a nation to lack individuals capable of pointing the way. I remained in the Pontar Valley. That is the task fate seemed to assign me, to safeguard freedom as it budded and bloomed. Who knows, I may yet prove freedom's bard. Yet forever feeling a vast shared responsibility for the fate of the North, I dispatched to Loch Nguyen my faithful and capable friend, Geralt of Rivia. Have I mentioned his disdain for politics? Well, it was at Loch Nguyen where he could finally give vent to it. Evan Gesein? Asir Evarana hed. Me vol tocht en geherd ven. Me vertruv het en bellen grek. Vise den ip kieseret. Net en verb tene. Het en krisa. Do you know what this is? I know. Who it is? Triss Marigold. Until recently advisor to King Foltus. Artifact compression. A complicated spell. Is she alive? Her life processes are on hold. But it is reversible. Though very difficult. You created a portal between Loch Muin and Nilfgaard. You should manage the figurine. Stand back. I cannot be sure how her body will react to decompression. No pentagrams, candles, spilt blood. It figures you do know little about magic, Ambassador. It matters not. We need her alive, Asira. Make sure her body survives decompression well. I'll do what I can. But she will be disoriented for some time. What is your name? Oh! Tell me your name. Triss! Ah! Wiese getocht gedein. Wiese es spät eb wovret. Dar tocht eb nedling derien. Me hen a veinens, ep turin. Me perft en alverdeg. Marigold, your name is Triss Marigold. I recognize this valley. This path leads to the city gates. We're almost there. Harpy tracks everywhere. When were you here last? A long time ago, by your measure. King, I'm wasting time.
These mountains have witnessed the fall of two civilizations. First that of the Vrand, and of ours, the Ancient. They may be about to witness the fall of a third. Did the elves come? <laughs> No disease did, and the climate. Long ago, the sources of the Pontar did not freeze over and flowed all year. Flowers still bloomed on these slopes in Bellum. Take that. Knights of the Flaming Rose at a peace summit. I wonder whose side they're on. On that of whoever paid them. They've made camp outside the city walls. Means they're not here in an official capacity. Are they on vacation? Maybe they just don't want to stand out. Eilhart has a dragon up her sleeve. Radovid has invited a unit of the Order's knights 
Don't forget Sheila and Henselt. It should be an interesting peace summit. Any idea who might have summoned them? Radovid. Now the scum of the Order wear the Redanian coat of arms as they burn pyres. Witch hunts are their favorite pastime. Or so I've heard. Radovid witnessed what the Order did in Vizima. He saw the Grand Master's madness with his own eyes. Yet he gave them a new home. For a good reason, I expect. That's easy. He needed a whip against Eilhart. You shouldn't let them see you. I know. To them, a good elf is a dead elf. It's not because you're an elf. It's because you're Yorvith. I'll try to enter the city through the caves. I'd advise you to do the same. The knights will know I'm wanted. You know of a passage? I know of a cave nearby. There are many ways to enter Loch Muin, my friend. If Radovid has summoned the Order, I'm certain the others have brought their armies as well. The city must be full of soldiers. All of them sitting as if on a witch's bomb, waiting for a spark. But that may be to our advantage. If the rulers have holed themselves up in camps, it should be easy to move about between them. Let's go before we get noticed. Good you're here. Look what I found. Keep your distance. Already forgotten that a similar creature hung around my head.
There's a forested valley on the other side of the city, once teeming with wildlife. It's now dead. The royal delegations arrived here. Wonder how many more. I know. That's why we went around. What exactly killed the Vrans? As the years went by and the climate turned colder, the Vrans had less and less food. Their hunters descended to the lowlands where they encountered the first human settlers and their plagues, typhus, dysentery and pneumonia. The Vrans began to fall ill. They tried to save themselves, building an aqueduct and sewers that rivaled today's. But it grew colder, and the canals remained frozen for most of the year. When the elves arrived, they encountered a dead city falling the wall. The elves were the Humans did not arrive here for many more Marshal Raupenek then swiftly proved himself more deadly than all diseases combined. He attacked at night, murdering all the city's inhabitants. Most families died in their homes. The fires raged on for days. Dragon fire can turn a city into a flaming tomb much quicker than Raupenek's actions. <laughs> Philippa has a hold over Saskia, and she's not afraid to use her. We need to hurry. on the fringes somewhere. We should find what we came for nearer the main quarters. Let's go.
more can there be? They gagged Philippa in the nick of time. She almost cast a spell. Rotting in the Redanian dungeon now, in special shackles. Radovid's right to show the witches their place. I wonder what they'll do to her. Either the executioner or the monsters will have their fun. They say Logmuin's dungeons are full of scum of all kinds. No idea what they locked her up for, but every sorceress is guilty of something. True enough. Not likely to see anyone weeping for her. A dungeon befits Philippa Eilhard very well. The gallows would be even better. If they kill her, you can forget about healing Saskia. They must guard her as heavily as the Emperor's bedchamber. We'll not get in there. I'm in no hurry to visit the Emperor's bedchamber, but we've got to get into the dungeon. 
Look for a passage through the sewers. I'll locate Alhart's quarters. If she didn't expect to be arrested, I may find something interesting there. I can think of a quicker way into the dungeon than the sewers. I just need to get arrested. They'll take your weapons and put you in shackles. Though there is some chance you'll wind up in Philippa's cell. I'll manage. Wandering through the tunnels would take too much time. Let's go then. I'll find Philippa. You search her quarters. Right. We learned a lot the last time we browsed through her things. Va fail, Gwynblade. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it 
It's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. I knew we'd meet again. Not you. Silgrat doesn't forget humiliation. What do you want? You won't win this time. All of Edern will know the power of Silgrat's fist. Stand and fight. off oh the fucking shame Yes? The mages will be overjoyed if you sign their treaty. Any idea who'd be the advisor in Vengerberg? They insist on appointing the advisors themselves, though I doubt Saskia will accept that. Anything can happen. That lass will allow no one to control her. I've been observing her. She's a splendid commander. Making her even more dangerous if anyone manages to manipulate her. I'm not sure I understand. Just thinking aloud. I guess you're here about the war with Kedwin. They wouldn't let us near Natalis, and Radovid refuses an audience. Scandalous. The mages drone on about their coven of advisors, but even they don't take us seriously. Saskia is our only hope. Perhaps she can achieve something. The word is Henselt had a fit upon learning of our arrival. He's prone to having those. He's a troublemaker, not a king. It's a little more subtle than that. Henselt is to diplomacy, like Dandelion is to tutoring young noblewomen. What can I do for you? Do you play dice? Would you like to join us? Anyone else I can challenge to a game around here? Two mages, but they refuse to play us. They only play masters, but beat us, and who knows? Sure. Who would you like to play?
You win. Care to play dice? Congratulations. You've won. Thanks for the game. Yes. Let's play dice. You must first defeat my teacher. He's a master of magic, but grossly my inferior when it comes to dice. How can I help? I want to play dice. I could use some coin. Shall we play now? You've won. Who can I play next? My apprentice. She's a mere learner in magic, but she's a true master in dice. Yes. Let's play dice. Shall we? You fully deserve this coin. Who else can I play? The Incredible Lockhart. Sounds arrogant. Where do I find him? Somewhere around the market, most likely. Thanks. Welcome. Oh, it's a lovely day today.
Let me guess. Behold, the mighty Numa, and I am his apprentice. Way to spoil my fun. The mighty Numa breaks the necks of bulls, bends iron bars, defeats everyone. Numa. His secret lies in the mushrooms and herbs cultivated in Elanda and picked in the mornings by virgin priestesses. They can be yours for a very reasonable price. Something. Are you the mighty Numa? Who's asking? Someone who wants to see if your nickname suits you. Then come to the circus and watch me rip off the plowing chains wrapped round my body. You've got a big mouth. And you've pissed off the mighty Numa. Put down your coin and give me your hand. I've always been the curious sort. They say witches are tough, but you, in the circus, you could maybe kick a clown's ass. Scalen Burden told me you cheat. And you believe that stinking midget? It's a you I don't believe. Fact is, you could only get that kind of strength from potions. Fuck you! You're as loaded with potions as squirrel shit is with nuts! I was clean during our bout. You're a con. They should call you Numa the Cheater. One more word and I'll shove your tongue so deep down your throat it'll come out your asshole. Here's what you deserve, bitch. I won't cheat, I promise! You lose, Samik. I'm looking to earn a few orans. You can only lose them with the mighty Numa. You a thief? I don't have to steal. I'd kick everyone's ass when it comes to arm wrestling. Care to try me? I've always been the curious sort. Malitalay's tits! No one's ever beaten me! There's always a first time. If I give you something, will you keep this to yourself? The circus finds out I lost, they'll can me. The mighty Numa must be invincible. Take this and keep your trap shut. Please. Alright. Thanks.
Welcome. Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. May we speak? Didn't expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. What kind of expedition are we talking about? We have irrefutable evidence that Epde Henna's laboratory is located in Loch Muin. We need an armed man to protect us from the filth in the sewers. They're infested with monsters. The details you'll get from our employer. A sorceress. I know a thing or two about monsters. And about sorceresses. What's this one's name? I'm sorry, but we cannot disclose her name until you agree to join us. Nice talking to you then. Cynthia! Her name is Cynthia! Everyone's heard of his Thousand Genie Curse, but few know that he also had a penchant for the history of Loch Muin. He was particularly interested in the Vrans, and their ultimate decline as a civilization. In his memoirs, he mentions that he left his archive here. That's how we pinpointed the location of his laboratory. You did? The sorceress did, in point of fact. But we're the ones who know everything about Epde Henna. I wrote my dissertation about the man. To arrive at the laboratory, we must pass through the sewers. Remember that potion you gave me back in Flotsam? Of course. How's the experiment going? Noticed any side effects? Or peculiar interactions with other potions? Yeah, every time I mix it with vodka, my tongue gets hairy. All right, I'm willing to help. Hmm, <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. You're either very unobservant or very rude. I thought I'd meet some of my colleagues from years past, chat with them and reminisce, but they all turn their heads away and treat me like air. Mages aren't known for being polite. You're telling me. They threw me out of Bannard the first chance they got. Must have beaten the Chancellor one too many times. They've all forgotten me and I believe I've had enough. I'm getting rid of the grimoires and amulets. I don't want anything to do with mages. I'd like to cast an eye at those if you don't mind. Sure. Cast both if you want. Anything on the Wild Hunt in your collection? I'd avoid the topic altogether. Nothing good has ever come to those who have delved. I'll take my chances. I need to know why the Wraiths carry off youths. What happens to them? This knowledge has never been recorded. Which does not mean it cannot be acquired. Well, I'd like to acquire it. In the chasms beneath Loch Muin. There is a sword that once belonged to an elf from the parallel world. And nobody's gone to look for it? There are mages who seek it still, but the sword is well concealed. They say he who handles it will understand the essence of the wild hunt. Could that be true, though? I'd like to play dice poker. Want to play now?
You just ended a lifelong winning streak. And you owe me some coin, or you can pay in kind. What's your preference? Show me what you got. I can give you runes to enhance your sword, an element that'll reinforce your armor, or one of the designs from my collection. Give me a design. Just make sure it's for something good. You ought to be happy with this one. Feeling lucky. Smelled something awful. Thought it was dung. Now I see it's only a couple of Redanian dogs. What was that? Bloody bastard. You're about to feel a Redanian dog's bite! That's him! What's going on here? Enough! Nothing worth your while. A little difference of opinion. I could treat this as an assault on representatives of the Redanian royal delegation. Yeah, you could. What would that entail? A stint in the dungeon ought to calm you down. Then we'll see. A stupid street fight, and you want to dump me in a dungeon with Philippa Eilhart? Ah, we're not animals. A modest contribution to the Order, along with your word of honor that you'll not do this again. A contribution in my word of honor or the dungeon. Hmm. Precisely. Listen, Sir Knight, if you don't shut your fat mouth, I'll start a row that'll make the Battle of Brenna look like a squabble. Bind this madman and lock him up with the witch! You... here? What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a Kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Radovid's no idiot. He knows I'm innocent. Besides, I helped him once. Radovid is a politician. He'd gladly show the world he's an avenger of fallen kings. Sure, but before he does that, he'll gladly hear about your exploits in Vergen. By aiding the rebels, I weakened Henselt's position. And that's of paramount importance. Radovid is King of the Hill. He has the deciding vote during the summit, thanks, among others, to me. Is that why he dumped you in this dungeon? This Witcher is a little misunderstanding. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time, though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? You could use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. 
Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send-off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the Rebellion, undermining Hensult, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Marigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Dialheart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. We will talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, Witcher. Fortunately, Eilhart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy. Not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know, but surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. The Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this Lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the Lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful, or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin, by my hand no less. 
This will be no second, Thanid. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me, but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian Executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. Pity you won't live to see it. Lock Muin's in for a huge surprise, both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and he won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Here. I need some answers first. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. Clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes, too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. All right, but if you're lying to me... Unbind me and lead the way. We must return through the sewers. The shackles stay on, and you'll go first. Shillard will raise the alarm. No, he won't. We'll be long gone by the time he comes to. Kill him. I'm not into murdering unconscious old men. Lead on. I want to get out of here, and I want to live. About my bed. Can you walk? Sure you won't faint on me? I'll manage. Will you remove my shackles? The manacles stay on. Who 
did this to... It was Radovid's way of thanking her for the care she provided him when he was a child. I saw him with his army on his way to the talks, whistling a tune. Get me out of here! Shut up, witch! You're alive only because you're still needed. Philip has promised to help us in exchange for her freedom. And you believe her? Know a better way to free Saskia? Got the strength to walk, Eilhart? I must find it. What state is Saskia in now? I've ordered her to carry out Sheila's bidding until I return. Great. And Sheila will be at the talks? Yes. She's probably there already, making certain the Lodge's plans do not fall through. What would you have done if Saskia hadn't been poisoned? If a certain foolish witcher hadn't gathered the potion ingredients? I would have sought other means, but I couldn't miss that opportunity. What's Sheila supposed to safeguard? The restitution of the Council and Conclave, and the creation of a strong, independent state with Saskia as its leader. With what aim? As a bulwark. A defense against Nilfgaard. After years of chaos and destruction, the time has come to build. We wish to rule, yes. Where is the fault in that? Everyone wants to rule. And I know how to do that. Better than any other monarch in this city. You can't hope to win the common folk's trust. Humans will never accept a sorceress queen. Non-humans won't either, given what that old hag Finderbear has achieved. They all believe in Saskia. They all trust her. The girl is a born leader, yet she has no political instincts. She's charismatic, but not cunning. Courageous, but not fierce. She is just, but lacks the required cruelty. She is your very opposite. Perhaps. Together we would be unstoppable. Did you order Full Test murdered? No! Shillard claimed that Triss testified. Triss doesn't know what she's talking about. The Lodge exists, and Triss has lost our trust. All that is true. But Foltest's assassination? That was not my order. How do we free Saskia? I have charmed a dagger with a counterspell. You must thrust it into the She-Dragon's heart. You mean your heart, witch? Do you mock us? There is no other way. She must be struck with surgical precision. Otherwise, the counterspell won't work. All the blade's runes must touch blood, and its point must pierce a chamber of her heart. We'll need to hold her down somehow. Hold down a dragon? This is ridiculous! She's lying, Geralt. I don't trust her. Why would she even need this dagger? In a minute, we'll hear that she planned to free Saskia herself. Any time you cast a spell or a curse, you must have a counterspell at the ready. It's a basic rule of magic. I prepared the dagger just before I cast the spell, in case anything went awry. A basic rule, but I don't know many mages who follow it. Where's the dagger? My quarters. In Geoffrey Monk's former home, inside a well-secured chest. I know the house. Yorveth, know any way to get to Philippa's quarters unnoticed? Through this sewer. We may encounter monsters, but we'll gain a lot of time. Keep an eye on her. I'll go ahead. There's something in there. I avoided this place earlier. Knowing you, it's probably a damsel in distress. That's all right. I'm not afraid of the glory. Let me check.
guarantee do I have that you'll set me free? None. If your dagger fails to work, or Saskia perishes from the blow, you'll be next. And be assured, it will not be a quick death. You dream of that, don't you? This place looks just like the last. Same stench, too. Wait here. Killing spells require focus and precision. I cannot manage one now. Die from the pain, then. Rest assured, no one will help you, nor weep for you. Keep moving. Geralt, you'd best check the room before we enter. I don't like this. Neither do I. Unshackle me. Remove the dimeritium. I can help you. Shut up! Is this the chest? Describe it. It's heavy, covered in runes. There's a circle and candles on the floor. Yes. The very chest in which Geoffrey Monk kept his most valuable treasures. The daggers inside. How do we bloody open it? The candles must be lit in a specific order. I figured it out. My notes are downstairs. After that, a simple spell will suffice. Remove my shackles. Geralt, do you know this ritual? Only a mage can perform it. Shut up! I'll light the candles, then we'll remove the dimeridium.
Now unshackle me. I'll open the chest with a spell. Neither of us can utter it. It's not something you learn in a moment. A trained mage is needed to cast spells. The candles are lit. We need to hurry. Do as I say before I lose consciousness. Try anything clever and you will die. spell binding her, but she'll never be human. She's more than a Dwa. Someone who restored hope to the Enche. She's a monster. If you think she can rule a realm of humans and elves herself. Face it, Delian! You'll suffer the consequences of your foolishness. Look out, Carol! Amazing fight, Gwynblade! Get the dagger and let's get out of here! Let's hope this blade will do the trick. A strange weapon. Never seen anything like it. I hope it works. Too bad Eilhart won't tell us anything more. Keep in mind that the other sorceresses are here. Philippa may inform Sheila. Or command the dragon. I won't be surprised if I'm forced to fight Saskia. Confused by spells, she won't understand we want to help her. You're probably right. But please, don't kill her. Unless you must do so to save your own life. Philippa will be far away by now. She was in pain. Let's hope that kept her honest. She's bound to recover quickly, and promptly return to conspiring. She's out of the game for now. Time to join the talks. I'll go ahead and see what we can expect.